In the marshy wetlands of Newcastle University lies the Wallatooka Institute. For 40 years, its cultural support ensured the uni has the highest number of Indigenous graduates in the country. It's a long-term commitment that takes action, not just you know, a nice philosophy or pretty branding. Introduction to Aboriginal... Bunjalung Waramai woman and Associate Professor Kath Butler's advice will resonate sector-wide as it battles to lift Indigenous student rates, sitting around 1% at Australia's richest schools that's well below population parity. If you've been excluded for over 100 years, you can't expect to fix that quickly. Kaisha Faulkner graduated last week. She credits the institution's support for her achievement and hopes to see it available nationwide. I think they need to have a better understanding of our culture. That was front of mind at the press club today. If you're a young Indigenous bloke today, you're more likely to go to jail than to university. The minister announcing the government accepted all of its expert panel's immediate recommendations, including that it will guarantee all Indigenous students a Commonwealth-supported place, increase support services for regional and outer suburban students, and remove a rule that means students lose government funding if they fail half their subjects. I don't want us to forever be a country where your chances in life hinge on who your parents are, where you live, or the colour of your skin. The government is focusing far too much on driving university places rather than focusing on student outcomes. Among 70 other policy ideas, the review recommended giving universities more certainty over research funding and reviewing HEX indexation. But those decisions won't be made until the end of the year. Changes for the next generation, so far broadly welcomed by universities. Connor Duffy, ABC News.